Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are going to go over the neutral roles in Town of Salem. Um, kind of finishing up. Uh, if you want to see the town roles, make sure you go to the video with town roles. It's it going to be in the playlist of Town of Salem. So you can kind of see what each person does. I give a little brief explanation on what they do and some of the abilities and such. If you want to watch the Mafia one, uh, make sure you hit the Town Trader tab. I actually went over over um, that in that video at the very end so just kind of go towards the end of that video and you will see the explanation for the mafia but let's get started over here with the amnesiac so the amnesiac is a neutral role you start off as neutral but you can actually go and be anybody else you can actually become a neutral person as well so like if the juggernaut dies you can remember that you were a juggernaut um so what you do is during the day, you can't really do anything until somebody is dead in the graveyard. Now, when somebody's dead in the graveyard, um, depending on what that person's role is, you can choose to remember that person's role. Now, once you have to stay alive, <laughs> you cannot be attacked that night when you choose to remember. Because if you're attacked, and let's say you are choosing to remember a juggernaut and you're attacked before you actually remember, you're going to die. So you don't have, um, you, you don't have defense at all until you remember um, specific roles um, that could carry and have defense but you can remember pretty much anybody uh, you can remember a jailer you can remember a juggernaut jester guardian angel executioner serial killer whatever you choose to remember you can remember a county mafia coven whatever but you have to live through the day and then at the start of the day once your remembering is successful there's gonna be a little thing that says to everybody Hey, and the amnesiac remembered they were like such and such. So be careful when you're claiming because if you claim amni and say you remember an arsonist, guess what? That town is going to say, oh, wait, wait a second. This amni, then this person claim amni. Oh, this is the arso. There you go. Let's get him up. So you have to be careful with that, okay? Now the arsonist. This guy actually has defense. You have basic defense. The only thing that can kill you is, um, I believe, a trap, a fully powered juggernaut, a fully powered plague bearer, and um, a veteran. So if you get shot by vigilante, you're actually going to live. You have you have some sort of defense. What you do is you go at night and you douse people. You douse people in gasoline. Kind of weird, I know, but that's what an arso does. And then, um, what you do is, when you have a good portion of the town doused, you can choose to ignite. And once that happens, everybody's gonna die the next day, unless somebody Roblox you. That's the only time that you're not gonna be able to ignite if somebody Roblox. Now, cool little tidbit is if there's more than one arso in a game, and you feel like there's more than one arso, you could choose to ignite and set a douse and whoever if that person douses somebody they're going to ignite the next day no matter what so you can kind of work together um in a way on that so that's that's a pretty cool combination you can do as an arsonist if you feel like there's there's another arso in there you can choose to ignite um if you want to what you can do is uh usually it's in all any that you'll see like two arsos you could choose choose to ignite night one and um if somebody dies <laughs> then you can say uh oh there's another arso in here so kind of something cool to 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 be in there uh, from the arsonist's point of view um it's the arsonist is kind of like a hex master in a way uh, if you want to know what the hex master does um just make sure to look at the coven video that is going to be coming up soon the executioner you have basic defense as well so if somebody shoots you you are not going to be able to die um the only way you die is if you walk into a veteran i think it, you know just the unstoppable attacks an arso will kill you as well if they ignite you and you're doused um the good thing about an executioner is that you get a target at the start of the game let's say five is your target the cool thing is that number five is not going to be a mafia member or a neutral killing or a coven. They're 100% townies. They are 100% a 
town member. So what you can do is you can act like a sheriff or you can act and say, hey, hey, this guy is sus. Um, and then if that person gets hung, if you get your target lynched, then you actually win that game. You're, you already won as an XE. Now, the cool thing about the executioner is that if your target dies at night, you're going to turn yourself into a jester. Now, you're going to have to wait a little bit so I can explain jester to you um, in a little bit of a ways. But that's a pretty cool thing. You cannot visit. The only way that you'll visit is if you get transported or controlled into somebody. The guardian angel. Hey! Um, so what you do as a guardian angel is you watch over somebody. Um, you have two protects and you can choose to use them as you wish or you know, if your target says, hey, protect me tonight, you can choose to protect them. Um, you can save your target when you are also dead. So let's say you die and you still have one protect left, you could actually use that protect um, from the dead and actually keep them alive um, and and such. Now, one cool thing is once you protect that target the next day, you know, when that protection is still viable, they cannot be voted. So that is something cool to do when uh, late in the game. And I mean, people can choose not to vote anybody and then, you know, things break loose but uh that's a pretty cool thing to do if you're if your target is like a mafia and you know they just not need to be lynched um and they can actually potentially win the game now if your target dies then you become a survivor with one vest that sucks but hey it's, it's better than nothing so usually uh if if you guard and if you protect somebody you're pretty confirmed um especially if you say hey i'm ga for such and such and you're already protected, then you're pretty much confirmed. A lot of times, some some people might come and, and try to get, get you, and then sometimes some people are going to come and say, oh, crap, you know, we can't do anything. Now, the Jester. Uh, as I was saying earlier with Executioner, you if your target dies at night, then you become a Jester. What Jester, <laughs> your whole purpose is to get lynched. Um, that's the way you win. You need to get yourself hung. A lot of times what people do is they say, hey, sheriff, uh, this guy's sus. And, you know, you're basically proving yourself that, you know, that person is not sus. And, you know, you try to get yourself uh, to trick the town into voting and guilty in you. Um, now, after that happens, you get to choose somebody that guiltied you or abstain and kill them. So that is haunting. You can haunt the Godfather or a serial killer and arsonist uh, for uh, achievements, but you can really like kill anybody that guilty or abstain. The only people that you cannot kill after you get lynched is the people that inode you. Um, so it's a pretty cool role, pretty chaotic role to play. I've done so many cool things um, <laughs> with Jester. is It's been insane. I've played a psychic with the Jester, and it's it was insane because that game I actually was like a legit sight in a lot of people's eyes because I was getting things right, and I'm like, oh my god, when are they gonna lynch me? Um, but uh, you could kind of play that role um, in in a pretty cool thing. Uh, now, now Juggernaut, this is by far one of the most powerful roles and one of the least like likely roles you will get in Town of Salem. Um, this is only in all any, so you cannot get it in anywhere else unless you're playing custom games. So what you do is um, you start attacking and you start getting specific uh, power-ups every night you attack. Um, you're After night five, if you attack all nights, you're going to be fully powered up. And basically, those attacks are going to be unstoppable. Um, there is a there is a base there is an achievement that you have to attack a plague bearer when they are fully um fully up and, and you know as a juggernaut i'll uh, show you guys when we get to the plague bearer side so that's pretty cool um but it's pretty unstoppable attack if you have an uh, um 
the power that you can attack multiple people that visit that person, then you're going to kill multiple people there. So that's where the kill five players in a single night comes into place. And, um, you know, you can you can kill the Coven Leader as a Juggernaut. The Coven Leader does have basic defense as well, so it's, it's a pretty cool rule. But you have to be careful with playing it because people do not like Juggernauts and they will come and find you. Your public target enemy won. Sometimes when um when you start attacking from day one. A pirate. The pirate is pretty cool. Arg. Um you have uh a chance to duel people every night. You cannot duel the same player two nights in a row. You have to pick them. So if you want to duel on player number one, one night, night one, you can duel them night one, but you have to wait till night three to duel them again. Um now the cool thing about dueling a player as a pirate is that you get to roadblock them so you get to be an escort ish kind of person now the pirate you have three choices when you pirate somebody you can use um a pistol a sword or um i think it's it's a scimitar pistol and something else uh so you get like a chain mail so you can sidestep or you can um um I can't remember. It's it's three is three rolls. It's three choices basically. Now let's say the pirate chooses the the choice that you choose, then you're going to die from that pirate. Now the pirate wins as soon as they win two duels. So when you win two duels, this pirate you already won the game. You don't need to do anything else. You can die and still win the game. But as long as you win two duels, you're okay. Um, what you do is. This is this is a really hard um, one because you have to make sure that the game lasts ten days. That is that is a pretty hard one. But you have heard of the achievement. Um, but hey, sometimes it's doable. Uh, let's say next one, Plague Bear. This is where I was talking about being a game where a pestilence is attacked by fully powered up juggernaut. So that is a pretty cool achievement. It's a rare achievement. Um, it happens more often than not now because, you know, when when you have a Juggernaut and a Plague Bear in the game and you actually, like, become a Plague Bear, um, you you fully, like, the, there's going to be a little thing that says, like, the Horseman of the apoc uh, Apocalypse is is out here now, you know, become Pestilent Horseman of the Apocalypse. Um, then if there's a Jug around, people are going to say, hey, let's get the achievement. So there you go. But what you do with the Pestilence is you're kind of like the Hexmaster. You're putting a plague on people. So you visit people every night and you put a little plague. Now, if somebody visits you, then they get a little plague thing as well. So there's going to be times where uh, if you visit specific people and they're visited, you're going to put a plague on all of them. Um, so you can become a Pestilence pretty quickly depending on how you play the game. Um, now when you become Pestilence, Horseman of the Apocalypse, you're fully unstoppable. You're going to start killing people. Um, so once you're infecting people, you're not killing people, you're just infecting them. But when you become Pestilence, you're killing them 100%. Um, now you're only going to die to certain things like uh, Veteran, um, the Jailer basically executing you. <laughs> so uh, the Jailer is going to try to execute you but that's not gonna happen because they're not gonna be able to but uh yeah that's it's, it's a pretty cool thing you can also attack players um in a single night so once you become horsemen if you visit somebody and there's more people visiting that person you're gonna kill every single one of them so this is a cool little uh little thing you have to be careful though because once people see hey somebody has become horsemen of the apocalypse they're gonna start hunting down people and a lot of people claim tracker as pestilence so you gotta be careful with that okay um because tracker is one of the investigator results that comes with a uh, plague bearer results so you have to be careful all right serial killer serial killer you're a serial killer that's literally what you are um the cool thing is if somebody visits you and you're not cautious then you're going to kill them so, um, if the jailer, 
uh, jails you and you are not cautious, you're gonna kill them and that that uh, will is gonna be all bloodied up and everything. So it, that's a pretty cool thing. There, people are gonna know that um, that you the the sir who killed killed the jailer uh, because you're still gonna see the 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 rolls, but the they're not gonna see the will. So if they wrote on the will, hey, I jailed this person, then there people are not gonna know it was you who got jailed. The only way that somebody will know that you killed the jailer is if they go to you and say, hey, Target was jailed. That's the only way um, as a serial killer that you're going to be found out in those circumstances. Um, but what you do is you have basic defense. So if somebody shoots you or whatnot, you're not going to be able to, to die. The only way you die is uh, I think a trapper kills, a trap kills you and a veteran will kill you. A uh, fully powered juggernaut will kill you. And a horseman will also kill you. But it's a pretty cool game. You go stabby stab some people. You become a serial killer, basically. That's that's all it is. Now, Survivor. Whew. This is a rough one to play. Because a lot of times, evils, neutral evils, become saying, hey, I'm serve. I'm a survivor. <laughs> and then they turn out not to be a survivor so be careful when you're claiming survivor um and just how you kind of play the game you're, you're very neutral don't necessarily start pointing things at everybody don't start saying hey i'm gonna side with the coven openly or side with the mafia openly you're gonna get lynched at that point uh, uh, maybe not by the mafia but if the mafia don't have numbers then you know they're gonna the town or the coven is gonna say oh let's get this survivor guy he's not gonna work with us you have four vests, um, so you're not completely defenseless. Um, however, if you're attacked and you do not have a vest on that night, then you are going to die. So you have to be careful. Um, and even if you have a vest on, you're still going to die to like things like a juggernaut, fully powered juggernaut, fully powered horseman, pest. Uh, so you have to be careful with that. You can still get executed by the jailer. Um, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, there are um, there are achievements for not using your vest. Um, I, I have said, you know, in the game, hey guys, I'm going after an achievement, and you know, people have left me alone. But sometimes that's not always the case because some people are like, hey, you know, I know you claim to serve, and I know you're saying, hey, I'm gonna win without this, but eh, whatever. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, vampire. This is a fun one. Um, I love becoming a vampire because it's it can be pretty, pretty awesome sometimes. Now, the cool thing about vampires is that they can turn townies into vamps. Um, the only time a vampire is going to kill somebody is if they are neutral or if they are mafia or coven. That's the only time that you will kill somebody. So let's say that they bite a jester. Well, that jester is going to die from that bite. Um, but if they bite a townie, like let's say a mayor, that mayor revealed, if they have revealed, then um, they are not going to be able to uh, to die. They're going to still be alive. Now, one cool trick to vampires is that if you can whisper the mayor, then you know they are not mayor anymore because a fully revealed mayor cannot whisper. They have to say stuff out loud so if you can actually whisper the mayor then you know that mayor is a vampire that's a lot of times that's what people do in order to kind of see if the mayor is still a vampire or not most of the time the vampires will leave the mayor alone until they have to get the mayor at the last possible second just so they don't waste you know times um and basically saying so if, as you kind of see i have uh, a lot of the achievements because it's a lot of fun playing um, a vampire so there you go now this this is a pretty fun one as well i don't get werewolf too often but um but it's pretty cool sometimes um there's some pretty cool achievements in this for werewolf um the good thing is you can by the sheriff the only time you're found sus uh by the sheriff is on werewolf nights um and if you go to somebody's house 
then you're not going to be able to rampage at your house. So if you stay home, you're going to be able to rampage at your house. And anybody who visits you will die from you being a werewolf. Um, however, if you visit somebody um, and somebody visits them, then you're going to be killing everybody that visits them. Uh, but if a sheriff goes to you and you're doing that uh, during were the full moon nights, then you're they're going to be saying, hey, this guy is sus this guy is suspicious. Um, you're not going to be found suspicious on the nights you're not a werewolf. So be, be careful with that. If somebody says, hey, this guy is suspicious and is not a werewolf night and you're a werewolf, then you know that person is not a sheriff. So just kind of think about that um, when, uh, when you're playing werewolf. So the witch is basically the same thing as a coven leader. Um, you're, you work for the coven. You control people at night. Um, one cool thing the witch does in in a uh, uh, town trader because you you are there's a witch uh, in town, town trader is you can make vigilantes shoot other people. Uh, you can use the Godfather to to shoot other people, and um, you can control the jailer into not executing somebody and do all kinds of cool things. So it's a cool time to be a witch. Now um, there's a, a thing called the Necromonicon. If you have the book, it's basically the Coven book, um, and it'll show you on the game. It says, "Hey, one day till the Coven has the Necromonicon." Um, if you are the one with the book, then if a sheriff uh, looks, you know, kind of goes into you and says, "Hey, I'm gonna interrogate you," you're not gonna be found suspicious. So that's something cool and kind of a defense. You do have basic defense. Um, there's only a couple things that can kill you, like a veteran, you know, trap those sort of things um but yeah that's pretty much all for the neutral rules thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe for content just like this and get uh into the next um up and coming role with the coven expansion